about this multiple choice question that was from Greg Gorilla. Um, we're looking at this setup here where the two speakers are putting a sound towards each other and moving the microphone between these points. Uh, the question that we're asking here is for question number six, which is asking what happens if we move the microphone from Q to S. Uh, so for this problem, we need to essentially understand what's happening, which is this speaker's letting out a wave, uh, and we're told that the um, wavelength of this wave is 20 centimeters, right? And this one is also letting out a wave. Wavelength is 20 centimeters, um, which means essentially that this is two meters, so you get 10 full wavelengths in on this side, and you get 10 full wavelengths into this side. When they reach this point, the path difference, right? They've, both these waves have traveled the same distance, so the path difference is zero, which means you're going to get constructive interference here, and that means you're going to have an anti-node here, right? That means you're going to get a bubble, like a, a piece that's vibrating uh, at the highest amplitude, right? So you're going to get, at this point, something that goes up like that or down like that and oscillates up and down. So you're going to hear a loud sound there. Um, if you go over from this point, 10 centimeters, then this wave will have traveled 2 meters and it's like 2.1 meters. Maybe it's not 10, let's see. And this wave would have traveled 1.9 meters. Uh, no, that's still that's still anti-node. And the path difference would be 0 0.2. So I actually need to go over 0 0.2. 0, 0.05. So if, I, if this one travels 2.05 and this one travels 1.95, then the path difference there is 0 0.1 and you would get destructive interference. So you can imagine you're going to get anti nodes every 0. Uh, every 5 centimeters. All right, so you get one there, you get another one here, get another one here. Uh, because of the path difference. Okay, that's not quite what it's asking, right? It's asking us what happens if we move up, going this way. So let's think about the same idea, right? This wave is also going like this. It's going to have to travel further, but because we're moving like this, the distance between these two is the same, right? Because we're traveling in the perpendicular direction here. So because the because the the waves traveling the same distance, the path difference is equal, and so we're still getting constructive interference, right? So there's still going to be if it's forming a standing wave, it's still going to be, um, you know, an anti node there. Uh, even if it's not forming a standing wave, you still get an anti node there. Um, and the reason that the amplitude is decreasing is because the distance is decreasing right right here you're the closest to both speakers as you can be as you move this way that distance between both of them is increasing and so the amplitude is going to decrease because the amplitude is proportional to uh, is inversely proportional to the square of the amplitude 